Kenya's central bank has long made it clear it does not approve of Bitcoin, the famous cryptocurrency. But it said nothing about the technology behind Bitcoin. We find out more about that. I think that's the next uh, phase uh, whereby we will then now be able to say how do we get this data uh, computed in an environment uh, that uh, is secure and communicated from one device to the other. And uh, we have chosen uh, uh, blockchain technology as the next phase. I mean, it seems like that sort of thing is the sort of thing that you would pull off given all the data you have on your clients the exposure you have for SMEs and especially on asset financing. These are things that sort of lend themselves to the use of both blockchain tech and smart contracts. I think that will be the next phase. And uh, the reason why we attracted most is purely for security. As you said, everything is within uh, uh, ed to ed from both the documentation, such that there's no documents uh, moving around. Uh, uh, everything is digitized within uh, the same uh, component. But however, we have a couple of hurdles to go through. Uh, one is the environment uh, with which you are communicating with and dealing with uh, must uh, also be adopting. Uh, the regulation needs to allow uh, this new technology, particularly for trail and audit purposes and supervision um, uh, uh, capability being to that level. But we see this to be what we'll be using maybe within the next uh, three to five years. Um, is it... Have you engaged the central bank on this at all? Because I mean, I know the central bank has been very anti-cryptocurrencies and they, they issued this really interesting statement earlier this year saying that, look, as far as we're concerned, Bitcoin isn't valid, tender, we're not interested. But at some point, you have to separate the currency from the tech behind it, right? And what you're focusing on is the tech. Is the tech. And that's what we are saying. It's not the currency, it's the tech, uh, such that... Um you are able initially to persuade others to come on board. And so it is at the moment at our innovation center, it's what uh, our chief innovation uh, officer, John Staley, has been tasked to. He has been uh, asked, just focus uh, on blockchain technology, ensure you deliver, and we're able to use it within three years. Uh, but uh, we haven't uh, then uh, started uh, sensitizing and socializing uh, the regulators on that space because ourselves, we need to ensure we have fully integrated seamlessly. We have carried our staff on board with it. We have trained enough. We have tested enough. 